We all know passwords are a pain. They're a nuisance we shouldn't have to live with, and thanks to biometrics, soon we may not have to. You may have heard, due to the permanent nature of your fingers, face, and iris, once biometric data is compromised, it can't simply be reset, like passwords. So what's the best way to protect biometric data and minimize the risk of it being compromised? Well, you need to make life much harder for hackers by employing a distributed architecture strategy. Instead of storing the data in a central location, it should be stored in multiple locations like the consumer's devices. This mitigates the risk of large-scale hacks by making the criminal reward less attractive. The next step is to bind or link the user's biometric data to their own device. This binding mechanism means that a criminal must also steal a user's physical device in order to use their stolen biometric. This drastically increases the complexity of actually making money from the attack. Think about it like this. Even if a criminal manages to steal 10 million fingerprints, unless they can find and steal 10 million linked devices, the data is useless. The effort is simply not worth the reward. So my recommendation is this. Avoid storing biometric data where possible and put the power back in the hands of the consumer by allowing them to keep their data close. The five-factor framework can provide some really compelling solutions, giving you the confidence that our industry won't find itself in the sticky situation that password compromises have put other businesses through.